Returning now to one of our top stories, thousands of people have been evacuated from their homes in Alberta due to the spread of over 100 dangerous wildfires. We heard an update minutes ago from Premier Daniel Smith and other officials. Smith said over the 24,000, said over 24,000, I should say, residents have now been forced to leave their homes. Earlier, I spoke with Provincial Wildfire Information Officer in Edmonton. Derek Forsyth described the situation fire crews are facing on the ground. Well, the picture on the ground is a very complex environment because some of the wildfires are in what we call the forest protection area, which is what we administer. Some are outside in municipalities, so we have municipal agencies responding directly. Alberta Wildfires is responding to wildfires in the forest protection area, and we're also assisting municipalities where able to address those fires outside the FPA. Uh, we have uh, air tankers, we have helicopters that can drop water, we have crews on the ground, um, and we have whatever equipment the, the counties can provide to us. Obviously, we are still very, very early in the season, just the first couple of days of May here, not even into summer. That's still weeks away. From what you have seen so far, Derek, does it, are you worried that this could perhaps be quite a bad year for forest fires in the province? Well, let's wait and see how much rain we get through the balance of the month of May, because that will be the determin determiner in how uh, the season starts for us or continues. Uh, if we, we're calling for some rain over the weekend, we hope we get what they're calling for. That will be a good start. Um, but in the large terms, it's going to be weather dependent. Derek, okay. I also understand that you have some concerns about people flying drones near some of these fires. If you can, talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, we've had reports from a wildfire this morning that uh, people have been flying recreational drones in the area of one of the wildfires in northern Alberta. And when that happens, we have to ground our aircraft because it becomes an unsafe environment for them to fly. So. That activity is illegal, uh, flying inside a controlled airspace uh, during a wildfire. And we're asking people who may be doing that to please uh, bring the drones to the ground and not fly anywhere near where we're operating so that we can get back to the task of, of getting these wildfires under control safely. So these would be your water bombers, for example, that are being impacted when there are drones being flown. And our helicopters. And our helicopters, sometimes they're dropping water, sometimes they're moving crews in them. So there's, you know, there's a number of risks that, that these drones Pose to us. We want to make sure we're operating as safely as we possibly can in what is really um, a fluid and kind of sometimes dangerous situation. That was Alberta Wildfire Information Officer Derek Forsyth.